Hi Ogmore, it's Owen from the Church on the High Street. Today's video is about loneliness and we just want to show you how Church and Jesus may help you if you're feeling lonely. Here are some recent statistics about loneliness. Apparently, they now say loneliness is as bad or worse for your health as smoking and obesity. Loneliness can increase the risk of early death by 29%. And 9 million people in the UK currently describe themselves as often or always feeling lonely. It's tricky to pin down what loneliness actually is and looks like. You might find that teenagers wake up two hours before school because they feel they have to look a certain way to fit in with the group, otherwise they won't be accepted. That's loneliness. Uh, we find that alcoholics and drug addicts sometimes tell us they started down that route because they found no one in the world actually understood them or got them. We hear of marriages breaking up because they feel that even their best friends sometimes don't fill that void of feeling alone, so they go down different routes to find happiness and acceptance. We also find people can be super busy and just fill their lives with stuff because they don't want to stop and address that deep down they might have a chronic anxiety about loneliness and feeling outside of something. So the first thing we want to say is, don't think that Jesus doesn't get what you're going through and you can pray to him now and tell him all about loneliness. He gets it. The Bible says that his friends left him. His family sometimes left him behind and didn't always understand what he was talking about. People used him for his gifts and rarely said thank you just for who he was as a person. The Bible says he was, wasn't attractive to look at, which is a source of loneliness for some people. He never got married, which is a source of loneliness for other people. So don't think he doesn't get what you're going through. The living God gets it. Finally, Jesus invented something to help us with this problem of loneliness, and that's church. God's first words to people were this, it's not good for you to be alone. Now in church, we come together and we learn how to live the way God wants us to together. So God can heal broken relationships through church. We learn how to forgive each other in church. Some people are lonely because they've fallen out with someone. We get to forgive and grow together. We get to care for each other. So there's a place for everyone. We can cry together, pray together, laugh together, worship Jesus together, turn from bad things like sin together and share life's burdens together. So, you're all welcome at 10.30 on Sunday mornings. We'd love to see you.